So I recently made a uh, purchase on eBay. I uh, picked up two Alpha cars, the uh, AWU SO36NH to be precise. And uh, I wanted to uh, purchase one for myself because I already have one of these and I wanted to use it uh, for testing, uh, you know, side by side sort of thing. And I also wanted to uh, give one of these to my son who's currently travelling around the world and, uh, you know, hopefully he'll be able to uh, pick up a Wi-Fi connection with one of these and uh, the cantenna that I made him. But uh, I made a video uh, quite a few years ago now, probably three years ago, uh, on uh, how to spot a fake Alpha card. And uh, it's been getting a few comments recently, so I'm presuming that uh, a lot of these fakes are doing the rounds again. Now, uh, let me show you the Alpha cards that uh, came through the post from the purchase that I uh, did on eBay. So these are the uh, two Alpha cards that uh, turned up, and uh, as you can probably guess, I uh, wasn't best pleased. I uh, did all the homework, I looked at the pictures, and uh, you know, had a picture of uh, the box and everything else. It also had a picture of the back side of the box where you can see the uh, hologram there as well. He also had the uh, certificate there that uh, I presume was doctored, um, you know, or maybe he just downloaded it from somebody else's certificate, I don't know. But uh, these are what came through the post. There was just uh, in a jiffy bag, no box, and uh, straight away I knew they uh, were fake. So let's take a closer look at these and, uh, you know, give you an idea what to look out for. So with this one then, we've got it in a uh, plastic bag, as you can see. This one also does not have the uh, rubber duck dipole antenna with it. It's uh, got a uh, disc here with the uh, drivers on. It's uh, a case, there's no hologram to be seen on there anywhere. And uh, this is the uh, USB cable, and you can see it's already damaged. Now, because this hasn't got the antenna in, here and with this uh, break here in the cable I think this was uh, one that uh, a previous buyer had sent back to him for a refund I don't think you know uh, this this uh, was done prior to shipping I think uh, probably somebody sent this back and just didn't put the uh, little dipole antenna in there but that's number one number two is uh, exactly the same but uh, it comes with the uh, dipole which uh, mimics the alpha one the alpha ones are pretty slim like this one here and uh, again it's got a USB cable this USB cable is uh, tied up in its own little plastic bag and you can see there it's not damaged in any way but uh, if the quality is the same as that one then it's probably not going to last too long now I did do uh, all the checks on these prior to uh, purchasing them as I uh, said in that first video uh, the pictures were of a uh, genuine alpha card in the box with the uh, hologram there and uh, the price was right as well because what you've got to remember with these uh, alpha cards is uh, they're sold on by uh, resellers when you uh, look on Amazon and eBay and the profit margin uh, you know in that with being a reseller isn't great so you always see them priced around the same price uh, around 32 pounds down to 28 pounds 28 pounds is uh, pretty cheap for one of these off a reseller he's not making that much money by the time he uh, ships it out to you um, you know so the price was right I paid 31 uh, pounds each for these two and, and obviously I got in touch with eBay straight away and eBay were really good they uh, gave me a full refund and uh, when I went onto the seller's profile he'd already uh, had all these uh, removed from eBay so I think somebody else beat me to it to uh, you know report this issue but uh, definitely you know the 100% uh, fake and we'll take a look on the inside in a moment and compare it to the genuine one but um, yeah you, you've got to be careful even even when you do the checks you know the price is uh, about right and the pictures look good they've also got positive feedback they've actually sold a few of these but um, you know if somebody's unsuspecting and they don't know what to look out for obviously they'll probably think that um, this is a genuine alpha one they've sent it without the box because they managed to get some of these cheap uh, you know that are uh, sent out of the box as sometimes does happen
So comparing to the, the genuine one, you get a lot more information, you get a lot of uh, setup instructions and general information there. The uh, driver's CD is also a full-sized uh, DVD, it's nothing like these uh, little mini ones and uh, we'll compare the drivers as well um, we'll get one of these and open them up on the computer to see what files are c contained in these compare it to the genuine one obviously if I plug one of these in and try to use the uh, alpha drivers it just wouldn't be compatible at all and uh, again in here you get a much better quality USB cable it's also longer as well this is the uh, dipole antenna and you can see very very similar in uh, length and uh, construction so it's hard to tell uh, the difference between that one but uh, you will see on the alpha card the color is uh, of the case is completely different so hopefully you can see that on camera but the color of the green is uh, a, a lot more different it's got a lot more of a shine to it uh, it's a lot more of a deeper green rather than uh, this one here that is uh, you know totally fake and if we turn them over you can see there that we've got the uh, serial number the mac address which is you know missing off this one and we've also got that important hologram as well although as i said in uh, the first video i did on one of these uh, some people do go to uh, the trouble of uh, pirating the uh, hologram on these only because you know the money in this is probably cost about five pounds to make you know the uh, wi-fi board and everything else probably around a fiver so if you can spend another tenner getting a hologram made sticking it into one of these fake ones then you can ask 32 pound for this so it's going to be a profitable to uh, go to the trouble of getting the holograms made but these are definite fakes these ones here i mean there's no doubt about it so I had a little look around then to see uh, what fakes are out there at the moment and it seems that we're being flooded with uh, fakes of these at the moment although a lot of sellers aren't trying to uh, you know cover it up as much as this seller did with me uh, they're openly uh, selling these for around a tenner and uh, they're also claiming funnily enough that these are two watt adapters which they won't be and uh, Alpha wouldn't make something uh, you know with, with a two watt adapter because they probably wouldn't get uh, FCC regulation to sign off on that but uh, also with two watts you need some uh, serious heat sinking uh, going off inside the card as well and uh, if without that two watts is a lot of power it'll burn itself out pretty quickly and it would probably also uh, struggle to run two watts just off uh, the five volts usb in a laptop you know there's just not enough power in there to uh, drive uh, two watts so again you know walk away from one of those and here's a look on the inside then at the boards themselves i've got the uh, genuine one in the middle and the uh, fake ones on the outside you can just visually see the difference and as i stated in the the first video i did on these fake ones uh, get the FCC number off the back of the uh, Alpha, uh, type it in on uh, the FCC website and you'll bring up a whole host of information that uh, Alpha, by law, if they want to get it signed off by the FCC, need to uh, give to them for testing and you'll see the internal photographs and the specs and everything else and uh, just match the internal photographs up. I mean, uh, this is the genuine one. This matches the uh, photographs on that website completely different from these two you don't need to be you know an electronics engineer to see there's a vast difference between them um, I'm not going to go into uh, you know how one of these cards are made up but you can just see uh, you've got probably twice as many components on the uh, genuine one than you do on these two cheaper ones so I wasn't going to do a side by side test but I think I'll get one of these and uh, the genuine one and just do a quick uh, scan here in the lab to see what kind of access points you can pick up between the two because a lot of people say you know especially if you only pay a tenner for one of these you get ripped off and uh, a lot on, on a lot of the forums you see people saying well so what if it works it works you know you pick up access points but uh, the thing is a lot of people buy these because they want it to work with Linux and uh, Backtrack. Uh, I haven't used Backtrack in uh, many, many years. 
but um, if uh, you're wanting to use it with that then uh, it's not going to work because you need the genuine drivers and uh, the uh, firmware and everything else that's on a genuine one to work in backtrack and open up the extra features you can do with one of these that you won't be able to do with one of these cheaper ones so let's give this a quick scan then nothing too special on the uh, setup just my laptop and an alpha card at either side on the uh, left hand side we've got the uh, genuine one and on the right hand side we've got the uh, fake one so let's give them both a scan and see if we can see any differences in how they perform So because they're just uh, simple 5 dB dipoles and I've just got them here on my bench you can see that the alpha card has picked up uh, 7 access points there uh, this one that's at 100% uh, that's my access point here in the lab but you can see here on the fake one we've only picked up 3 access points so there is a difference in the performance of these yes the fake one will work and if you only spend about a tenner for the fake one then you know obviously for ten pounds you're going to get a fake one but uh, you will get a working Wi-Fi adapter as many say on the forums when people complain but uh, you know it won't be a well uh, good performing adapter I mean uh, compared to the Alpha card the Alpha card just uh, you know flies over the top of the performance of uh, this fake one and as you could see with the card itself many more components on the Alpha one than on the uh, cheaper one and uh, they're all there for a reason and uh, it will outperform the fake one and if I just lift them both up just to see if we can pick up a few more access points I've just got them lifted up here on the bench the Alpha one has picked up a few more there but the uh, fake one is still on three access points so it's picked a few more up now so maybe not quite as responsive as the Alpha one either but uh, yeah the Alpha one seriously outperforms it holding them up again and uh, the alpha one definitely uh, outperforms the fake one so i hope uh, you found the video interesting and uh, hopefully i've added a little bit more information to that video i made a few years ago now and even when uh, you know you've done like i did you've uh, looked at the price the price around 32 pound is the kind of price you pay for one of these uh, off a uh, reseller a brand new alpha card you looked at the pictures you've looked at the feedback everything looks kosher but then you get sent a couple of fakes uh, through the post not a great deal you can do about that but just get your money back off ebay or amazon i uh, emailed Am uh, sorry ebay straight away about this and uh, virtually within an hour my money had gone back into my account and uh, they just told me to destroy these two so i'll probably just throw them in the parts bin and use the sma connectors on a uh, future uh, modification or something but uh, you know even when you uh, are really really careful sometimes you can get caught out so if you did enjoy the video please uh, give it a uh, thumbs up any uh, you know comments uh, if you've been caught out let us know in uh, the comments section and hopefully you'll join me on the next one